Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Brickbusters here at Outer Plains. And this one, this is not a new set, but this is a new set back in stock. Uh, this is Rage of Demons for D&D 5e mm -hmm. and uh, Icons of the Realms. And these have been out of stock for a long time and Albert was able to get a hold of some and pull them in. So we're going to open them up, see what we got, and these will be available in the store and, of course, online at the website uh, starting tomorrow or by the time you see this video. So with that, we're going to open up and see what's available. Ready? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I think they're going to do a bunch of these uh, older sets. We start reprinting them so we can start seeing things like uh, Tony of Dragons available a little bit easier. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Tony of Dragons. Oh, I'm excited to get our hands on these. These are going to be pretty great, too. So this is the set, too, that if you look on the side here, this has that giant beholder in it, uh -huh. along with the giant shadow beholder as well. Yeah, I probably had a few, there's a few beholders that, that come in this set. Uh, yeah, there's the spectator also. Uh-huh. So. Aside from the holders that were in these, but see, there's a few dragon options too. Copper dragon, the yeah. roper is a great figure. You got some drow in here. Mm -hmm. um, mind flare. Oh, the mind flare. See, yeah, this is yeah. the drider. It's such a good yeah. set. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of good stuff in here. A lot of minis that would work great on that custom terrain we have in the store. Yeah, yeah you know, I did kind of want to talk about that. Okay. Um, if you haven't seen it, we've got some terrain in the shot done by none other than our very own Dwayne uh, that is killer. If you have a chance, you should come check it out. It was a very large set. <laughs> yes. uh, it's an yeah. underdark set. It has three playable scenarios. Mm -hmm. It's a great, uh, great set. It took me yeah, a long time to build it. Fantastic. And it is for sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this set I think has a an a free and a genie in it, I think. Mm -hmm. I think so. And that's the base, we'll worry about that later. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Hobgoblins. Every DM slash GM needs hobgoblins. Oh you got the dryer. dryer. There yeah, you go. Yeah. After I'll have spider. Oh yeah, what is it? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. That's an editor cap. Yeah, I have not seen the mini for the editor cap before. Oh, you got one too? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Who's gonna pull a beholder? <laughs> it's a race. It's a race. A cockatrice? Yeah. That's a cool figure. Drow. Oh yeah, that is cool. Look at that. Bam. Oh, sweet! There it is, the mighty beholder. Dude, those things are so sweet, and they're weighty. Yes, they're it. like they've got some. And it's heft. huge. It's yeah. huge. You know what? Yeah. Even if you never play with them, this guy is worthy of sitting on the shelf. <laughs> yeah, right. Just yeah. as a. Every sure. game room needs one of these sitting on the shelf. I will open the base for him so we can stand up. <laughs> That's cool. I'm just glad we got one of those. Because you never have enough holders. Well, look for like an angry look for. There's another underdark monster Total. right there. Another kobold. 
Yeah, that's the drought captain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The last set we opened had a lot of lizard folk. We are, we have a lot of lizard folk in stock right now between D and D and Pathfinder minis. Mm -hmm. There's there's quite a few. And for those of you who don't remember, you know these packs. If you buy the packs, they are fifteen ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this particular set. Yeah. So we not only have the open singles that we're opening now that will be available, but also we will have packs and we have bricks available too. Or just packs. Uh, yeah, yeah. I got too. some bricks and packs. Okay. Yeah. So if you don't get the beholder, maybe you'll pull one out of the pack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, considering we've seen one pretty early. Good brick because there. Ooh, nice! There's a very nice gold dragon. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah, the genie. Yeah, yeah. With the free. Yeah, perfect. Boy, and that gold dragon is gold. Yeah. Look at that one. Very nice. That's cool. Definitely cannot have enough dragons too. <laughs> Quagoth. Mm -hmm. There we go. Sometimes you gotta really look at how the base is supposed to go in. Yeah, because they are pretty particular. Yeah. And sometimes they, they don't always want to snap in quite right. Boy, that'd be a fight. <laughs> Even uh, oh, there's a there's a good uh, there's a nice wizard mini. Yeah, human wizard. So oh, that'd be a great player character. All you player characters you need a mini for your human wizard. There you go. Smart Fablon, I believe. Oh no, that's is it a Durham? Yeah, it's a Durham. Mm -hmm. Little under dark orbs. Of rock demon. Yeah. I know my demons. <laughs> you say that was quick on the draw with that. I know my demons. <laughs> That's a cool figure. I love the ghostly uh -huh. undead figures that are all yeah. translucent. With the transparency, yeah. Closet. I cannot read this guy. That is the one thing about this set is that you really got to get the. Yeah, they right don't do the, the base. Yeah. Only on the large figures do they do the white lettering. Mm -hmm. The small figures. This guy this is a troll. Not enough trolls here. Mm -hmm. It's a cool sculpt. I like how they just put a little bit of paint right around the face, just mm -hmm. enough to make the eyes. Make the eyes come out. Yeah. Troll figure. Trolls do not like cool. fire. Oh, there you go. Helm horror. Oh, look like a cool. PC for a minute. Yeah, but he's got kind of like a translucent face hiding under the helm. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, like it's a, kind of a cool little effect. That'd work for a death knight or mm -hmm. yeah, anything like that. That's a cool figure. That gold paint, I was going to say, on that dragon, mm -hmm. it looks like gold leaf. It does that is, really. That it is really is a gold. great metallic. Yeah, that's yeah. an amazing gold. It's really it's catching my eye. Ah, yes. These I used on my terrain. <laughs> the Ropers. This is such a cool miniature. It's such a cool classic Dungeons & Dragons monster, too. <laughs> 
now there's so many different kinds of ropers now, but back in the day when I started playing, there was one kind of roper. <laughs> How, where, where do they add variety in ropers? There's ropers, stone ropers, I can't remember what the other ones are. Um, there's various... Just like yeah. elemental. Exactly. Okay, drow, I think this is the drow archmage. Yep. Oh, cool. Yep. A lot of drow in this set. Uh -huh. Like a lot of variety of drow. Yeah, this is, I would say, out of all of the sets from WizKids, since WizKids took over the line, this is my favorite set, for sure. But I'm a big Underdark guy, I'm a big Demon right. guy, I'm a big Beholder guy. I can see guy. Like, half of the stuff going with that terrain that we got real easy. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think oh, this guy's cool. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Is he the same as this Underdark. guy, just different color? Wait. Oh, no, they're similar. Yeah, they're similar. similar. What is this guy like? I can't, some kind of. I here. can't read it. Uh, uh, is an air myrmidon, which makes oh, sense because okay. this is a water. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Oh, tough. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. <laughs> oh, there's one of the mind flayers. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the nice one where he's holding the brain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's it. Dwarven mini. Like another closet. Yep, another closet. Yep, here's another under dark or really sewer slash dungeon staple creature, and that is the carrion crawler. Oh yeah, those guys are cool. Yeah. Another classic original Dungeons and Dragons monster. Mm -hmm. Now the beholder, the large beholder, I'm pretty sure comes one to a case, I heard. Yeah, I don't, last time we opened them, I think maybe we saw one, mm -hmm. so that, that, would, one that would make sense. <laughs> I wonder, Dwayne, I wonder I what no that idea. one meant. This looks like a, a Kuatoa like, chief then, or I can't read it. It's definitely Kuatoa, but he looks like yeah, yeah. the chief or something. Uh huh. I like those guys too. Yeah, they're fun. Well, that's one of those basic creatures that I always go, oh, I gotta use those. And then I wanna <laughs> use them. But then when the time comes, I forget them. I, I just I don't think of them. Right. Like, you know. They end up getting washed out with other little Yeah, men. you know. Yeah, should I use some Kua Tiller or something really cool like a Mind Flare? You know? <laughs> yeah. Another Drow? Scott? Dude named Grimlock? Very angry little. That's what it is, it's a Grimlock. Okay. Another Genie? He doesn't want to come up. There we go. So yeah, what I've noticed is um, our miniature singles that we sell in the store here, um, we have a lot of regular buyers, and we thank you for that. Um, so if any of these are on your list or minis you need, I would definitely come down quick because they tend to go quick. Yeah, as soon as they hit the shelves sometimes. Let's get a must down. That's a shadow, shadow demon. demon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That many, that creature, was in and was a main character in the original Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. Really? Yeah, back in the 80s. <laughs> shadow Demon was the sidekick of Vinger, their evil nemesis. Huh. Think of kind of like a uh, Salacious Crumb type character. Gotcha. Yeah, the same thing. Uh -huh. Another drow captain. Those that need drow, who doesn't need drow? Yeah. We're gonna have some drow for you. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like for a while the drow were really hard to find. They are. Um, and they always go quick because yeah. everybody uses drow at some point. Some demonic little dog. Oh, that's kinda cool though. Yeah. Yeah. 
And another troll. Okay. I want to see one we've never had is the Shadow Beholder. Oh, yeah. That would be pretty sick. Oh, okay, that's cool. You can play a character. A dwarf Wizard. Yep. yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. Wizard. Yeah. Ah, the Nightmare. Classic. Yep. I had a, uh, played an evil campaign mm -hmm. years ago, and I played an anti-paladin mm -hmm. who wrote a Nightmare. Sick. That was a cool character. Yeah, that's right. Okay, wow, this is this is a very cool Lizard Man mini. Now, there's a lot of Lizard Man oh, minis nice. out there. Same one you got, right? Uh, yep. Yep, but I have never seen this one, and that one, great texture on that guy. I mm -hmm. like the spike shield, arm shield thing. Yeah, it's a cool little effect with the little mm -hmm. spikes in the club. That's a cool mini. Yeah. Oh, nice. oh, here we got an invisible figure. And, oh, sweet. Ah, it's the, yeah, the blink dog. Oh, sweet. You want a blink dog that's invisible. Yep. That's kind of a, like a must-have. Mm -hmm. Just like the displacer beast. Mm -hmm. And the phase spider. Mm-hmm. That's another demon. That's mm -hmm. the uh, chess me, chess mm -hmm. me demon. Yep. It's like a big mosquito. Kinda, <laughs> but way worse. <laughs> That's pretty cool, hobgoblin. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Those hobgoblins together. Yeah. Everybody needs a hobgoblin army. Uh huh. Yeah, that is another kind of staple. Uh huh. Yeah. There's the nightmare. Boy, that gold dragon, he is really yeah. cool. Every time I look up, that's what I see. Uh huh. It really does stand out. Yeah. It's not just because of the you size. You throw that on the table. Right? <laughs> Don't mess around. Good thing it's a good good lion creature. Yeah. Oh, I have a chance to do it. Sweet. Um, what was that book you were showing me that had the beholders in it? Eye Tyrant. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. Second edition Dungeons and Dragons. There was a book called there was a set of books called Monstrous Arcana. And they made, uh, there's one edition for Beholders called Eye Tyrant. There's one for Mind Flayers called the Alithiad. And they did one for um, like sea creatures. Um, I can't remember the name of that one. <laughs> and then with each of those books, there's a module series. So of uh, three. So there's a set of three that go with that are beholder-based adventures and so on. Right, it's a whole... Yeah. yeah, but those books are great because they really go into the ecology and the lore of that specific type of monster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was really cool to look through and sort of see how their mm -hmm. layers are set up uh -huh. and, and just to get all that background behind it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, it's... You don't see that level of detail. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's, there's, they, they try to do it a little bit in fifth edition. I noticed. I kind of looked at it, mm -hmm. um, and they kind of stole some stuff from those books, but they're not in the same detail. There's not as much information. Yeah, yeah. I just have the feeling of just like a tome about the holders. Mm -hmm. cool yeah, it's, it's kind of like the Beholder Bible. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Looks like we got a copper dragon. Oh, sweet. Yep, copper. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get copper and bronze mixed up. <laughs> Maybe because they both patina. Put him up next to the gold one. That's funny kind of seeing him in comparison. Wow. Look at the little guy. That was compared to that big old gold. 
That was a good pack because that was too large. Oh, in the too, same pack. In the same pack. Huh. Sweet. Interesting. So yeah. Virginia. And so what we'll do too this time is once we get everything open, um, when we normally do a uh, Brickbuster video, uh, we line it up and I'll pan by everything up close mm -hmm. so you can see everything we got and start shopping before you even come to the store. <laughs> it is nice to kind of get a, get a scoop on all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just such a great set. Yeah, just a lot of like solid stuff that you can use mm -hmm. in a lot of different scenarios. That guy. Oh, nice. Like Orc Chief or something. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Make a great um, half orc character, player character. Mm hmm. I'm not sure, too. <laughs> From what I can see, another night. Yeah, what am I? So, what's the next set they're going to be doing? Have you heard anything? Uh, for the D and D stuff, mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they've announced. What it's going to be Might be, be too yet. soon, huh? I think it is, because, uh, what's the one that just came out? Um, the jungle one? Um, no, nah, it wasn't no, not, too. No, that was... Uh, yeah, the Monster Menagerie, the third Monster Menagerie, I think is that's what right, just That's right, that's right. Um, I was thinking of the, the Pathfinder set that just came oh, out. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. the jungle one. Um, I know that with the Pathfinder minis, the next one is Kingmaker, I think they just announced that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that is an awesome miniature. Now, this is a classic original D&D &D monster that is just so fun. The Rust Monster. Oh, sweet. The Rust Monster. Every fighter character that wears armor hates <laughs> the Rust Monster. It's a red Dracolich. Say what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like it's got wings too. But there's wings hiding in here. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh, no. This is too bad. Uh oh. Tony <laughs> might be in trouble. <laughs> seen that many. See? How awesome is this set? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, really just some like epic level stuff. It's just, it's just such a good set. It's my favorite set. Look at that. That is really cool. Yeah, put that on the table and see what people's eyes <laughs> That is cool. Yeah, she was there. He kind of dwarfs the gold dragon a little bit, doesn't he? Right, I think if you were here, if I can get them both right next to each other. 
Yeah. Yeah, these pegs decide to go together. I'm going to draw parchment. Good mini. Say we're doing pretty good with this case. Yeah. We got the beholder. Mm hmm The red Dracula, which I've never seen. Mm -hmm. I think I do kind of remember hearing about it, but I don't think I've ever seen Yeah, I don't remember seeing it last time around. Not in person anyway. I may yeah. have seen it online at some point. Didn't place it with this set for some reason, but so that's, that's the most surprising figure. Mm-hmm. So far. It is kind of fun when you're opening stuff and you Come across so something you, something you don't didn't expect. expect. Yeah. yeah. This one does not. isn't big on like player character minis it's mostly monster minis but it's the monsters that they are you know it's yeah good stuff mm -hmm. um, yeah it's a lot of quality monsters a lot of yes. things that you're gonna want yes, exactly. so, and you're getting a lot of play out of them. yep it is kind of nice when it's not just sort of a random, hey, what, I guess it looks cool and I'll try to find a way to work it in versus right. things you know you're going to want. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you write your own adventures or you write pre-written adventures, and those pre-written adventures, you're not picking the monsters. Mm -hmm. They're picked for you. But with these, you'll have probably a good chunk of what they call for. Yeah, that is a, the one thing about some of these stands is they don't always want to fit in quite right. They take a little finagling. Yeah. Which is, yeah. I mean, once they get in, they, they stay pretty solid. But. Shadow Demon. Sweet. <coughs> Roper. Yep. Love the Roper. Oh, here's two. Match the invisible blink dog. Oh, nice. There's yeah. the set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's cool about the roper is let's say there you go. There's your there's your human wizard, right? Mm -hmm. right Taking me through. <laughs> nice. That's sweet. That's cool. That's like when they did the gelatinous cube minis. Right. You yeah. know, you can like kind of put them in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's sweet. Functional minis. 
Okay, my last pack is at the Shadow Beholder. Slow roll. I don't think so. I think it's too light. Yeah, doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel right. But am I wrong? Nope. It's another Drider. Nothing wrong with that. This was a little heavier than this. Oh, oh, the Zorn. Oh, that's cool. That's another classic D and D creature. Very bizarre. Zorns are weird. Uh huh. Another roper. <laughs> Another roper. Dwarven wizard. On you. I know, you right pull the go. shadow beholder. Pull the shadow beholder or the spectator. Oh, that would be sweet. That would be a. Yeah. That would be. I'd be happy with one or the other. I mean, as it is, it's a great case because. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come here, you. Yeah, he's a little chat pity. Oh no, you get the pleasure. Pick, pick. You get the pleasure. Pick, you pick. sure? Yeah. Let me feel a little more. All right. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what your pick is. And let's find out. Wah, wah. It's another nightmare. Oh, well, it could have been worse. Yeah. But I wanted to see the shadow behind. Right. Right, cool. A wood elf archer. There you go. There's yeah, a yeah. Mini. For sure. Another human wizard, another dwarven wizard. Another hobgoblin. And another nightmare. Is this the last pack? The last pack. This is it. It's on you. Go down to this one. Gotta do it. I don't know if it's going to light. Is it going to be? Wah, wah. Another Vrock Demon. <laughs> I don't know though, like three dragons in a beholder? I'm, that's I, nothing. Yeah, we can't complain. <laughs> yeah, right? But, but it would it would have been nice to see one of those. But here's also a way to think about it. Mm -hmm. That means out of the bricks and packs we still have for sale, right? More the likely, odds are pretty good. Mm -hmm. So maybe you want to come down and not buy just some loose singles, but maybe a pack or two. And yeah. Try your yeah, luck. play the odds, you know. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So that's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. Not bad, not bad. Look at this menagerie going on right here. Yeah, those turned out really, those are really cool. That really is amazing. Cool. Okay, we're going to line them up, do a flyby. We'll be right back to our favorites that we pulled out of the set. <laughs> um, so stand by. Okay, so there you have it. There's your pan by, and come on, come on down and get them. Um, yeah, a lot of good loot. As we do with this series, we always like to kind of pick our favorites, even though this is a restock of an older set. Uh, we've never filmed an opening of this set, and outside of the obvious, um, <laughs> Uh, I will always, Beholders are always true to my heart, um, but I'm not going to obviously pick him. Um, I don't have to, it's just a gimme. But I would say, I really, I'm really digging the Zorn figure. <laughs> this little guy, just because it's such a classic D&D creature. They finally made a figure of a Zorn, and, and they've made Zorns before, but this one, looks really true to to the monster the sculpt on it the paint job on the eyes it's a really good looking mini this has really impressed me and there's only one out of this entire case yeah so he is definitely rare um and a very very cool creature um and of course i'm a huge drow fanatic but um i think honestly uh out of the non-large ones this is probably i think my favorite i really like him yeah, I, I I think it's easy to go with any of these because they're they're fantastic. They're impressive. Yeah, exactly. They they catch your eye. They're great sculpts. But that being said, uh, it's okay. I like the pair of the invisible and not invisible blink dog. Yeah. Uh, sometimes with the invisibles, they they don't make sense to me. It's like, why would you make that? Right. Invisible. I mean, okay, it's cool and it makes it a little more rare. But sure. They just they work. Yeah. And it seems like the most There's sort of ability. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like if you're gonna get one, it makes sense to have the other. It's a cool little pair to have. Yeah. Um, and just. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, on the table, you know, they blink. Mm -hmm. You're gonna use this guy. They unblink. You're gonna use this guy. Yeah. There's that. I agree. That's that's great playability there for sure. Yeah. And there's the pair. So it's perfect. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. But a lot of good stuff in this set. A lot of good stuff. I love this set. I really do love this set. And they're not going to last. So come on down and yeah, come get them. All right. So till the next Brick Buster video, I'm Dwayne. This is Albert. We'll see you next time. Peace.